Yes, hello, beautiful, yes, okay. We start because then later you want to see the information and not this all introduction thing. So, I've made a list about the things I want to say, there are a few. First of all, thank you very much uh, for all the people that are giving me feedback and for all your comments about the topics I brought. Uh, yeah, especially like David was giving me some I some perspectives in private messages. Thank you very much. Borna also. He always participate uh, through Facebook. He's super nice. Yeah, and he's very wise. And also Dave. Dave told me like he likes what I do. So thank you very much. The more you promote me, the more you help me. Really, thank you. Because it's what keeps me going and what gives me meaning about what I'm doing. Um, yeah, also, I noticed that this topic about the sacredness and the grass, it made some people think interesting things. So really, if I notice that a topic is, is making people think seriously about the, what I'm talking about, I might, I don't want to make any promise, if I have time I will do it, I might come up with a more written, organized post about the different perspectives, so yeah. And then like people, I think I like writing, and I like reading, and I like when people take their time to make up their minds and not just talk, 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 which is something I do a lot. So yeah, I might write about the topics that are most, that people like the most. Uh, yeah, hola Silvia. Uh, also, I'm uploading these uh, live stream things on YouTube, so if you miss any, you can always go to YouTube, because now I will see. Save at the end. Pick, um, yeah, sorry because I did some screen recording and the quality might be worse, but it's fine. So the topic of today is hello. The topic of today is how does it? Or what, what is the best way to achieve a spiritual enlightenment, for example, or which kind of techniques along history have been more successful? And I I've made the division of two which are like deprivation versus saturation so i think spirituality is very intimately connected with sensitivity and with sensations and with perception so one of the most common reported things when someone is spiritually enlightened is like how i mean i talk from my own experience so when i got this spiritual experience i will talk later or other day about it i i really felt what i what was around me and i really like noticed and my perception was like super aware so the way we communicate with the world is through our sensations and attention is the filter so we can leave attention for another moment but this thing of having sensations and perception to communicate with things around us with our own body we also communicate with our body with sensations so how do spirituality and perception sensations are related and then it's interesting because some people are well and especially in our societies we are always trying to be very stimulated all the time like all the time we want to try new things have more new stimulations yeah, like new food and always eat like more and then we add salt, we add sugar like the barista gentleman who left he's very known about it because he has like very high sensitivity in the smell and in the mouth so that's the, the idea like how can you get to this sensitivity through saturation or through deprivation do you have to take a lot to start noticing and tasting things or it's better if you don't take anything and then you take like the smallest amount so then, when I think about different, sorry for the movement, yeah, I think it's better with like, so when I think about different spiritual techniques along history, many of them are, have focus, at least in the oriental philosophies, they have focus on deprive the sensations. So you go to meditate, you don't move, like the, the smells have to be really low, the, the thoughts have to be really low. So everything is in a very, very low threshold, in a very low level of stimulation. So that's the thing, the threshold of sensitivity increases because the smallest thing, you feel it a lot. 
and that this is when spiritual experiences start to come to the play. Is from my point of view, <laughs> like when we go to a vacanalia or we go to these parties, music is very loud. We take drugs, we drink a lot. Like, are we really having a spiritual experience, or is in the other extreme when we are not having almost any 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 stimulation? And the smallest one, we have it like very, very meaningful. Because that's the connection. Like spirituality is also about the meaning of life. So, this is my thought of today. A long history, different spiritual traditions, different religions have used different techniques. Which techniques have been more successful? In my personal experience, my personal case, it was the deprivation of technology what made me realize how alive I was in the current moment so when I didn't have any access to technology that was connecting me with something that was not in this precise moment then I realized that I was alive and I had my my click my spiritual experience so try this is more experiential. This is not something I have to convince you about it. I think this is really, you just have to go for it and try. Try drinking a lot of water and then try not to drink anything and then try to drink little, little, like the, the smallest amount of water you can drink and reflect on what you're feeling. It's very ep epicureist, probably quite Taoist, which is uh, about going backwards but yeah definitely it's epicureist so also this is interesting we can find examples in uh, occident philosophies in greek philosophies about these ideas and yeah i think I, I don't want to talk about so much because then i make two long videos but nah, sometimes making long videos is good but I don't want to mix topics because then if I upload them in YouTube, like people want to listen to one thing. But really, keep on reading Homo Deus because uh, yeah, I might do another live later because I, I read something today. It keeps on, on going, you know, something that I already had on mind about this algorithm based human relationships. Like there might be a machine that chooses better than me who should be my friend or who should be my my romantic partner and I have to accept it because this machine maybe knows more than me about me because we are always living in this self disillusional state so yeah think about it and the other thing I, I took I uh, thank you very much for all these people that see the lives even if it's not when it's live I uh, really thank you very much for being here and yeah i will make one more organized i hope video about how economy how my understanding of economy and capitalism is working and how can we maybe reverse it into something that was working in the past but we can use new technologies it's something not is not new but in my personal case i, I thought i i kind of discovered and i think i will apply it I don't need so many people. I need 100 of you, and then we will see what happens. And yeah, for those that you like what I do and you think about people that might like what I do, feel free of sharing it, really. Because we don't have yet algorithms like connect people with this type of, of like-minded. So we still use uh, social networking. So really, if you think about someone that might like this, Feel free. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you very much. I think today I was short. I'm trying to be more respectful with your time. Uh, thank you very much again to Borna, to David and to Dave for giving me feedback. Thank you very much to everyone that, yeah, that gives me feedback and supports me. I, I hope I will find time to do this right and more organized reflections so people can go faster than watching me talking, talking, talking. Thank you very much. Namaste. Have a good day. See you soon.